What is going on everybody? It's your boy Anthony, Long Island Fish Guy here. And on today's video, I want to go over something that was actually insane. If you guys do like this video, be sure to like the video. And if you're not subscribed to my channel already, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any other content like this. So, I don't know about you guys, but I usually feed my fish at night. Um, typically anywhere between like 7 to 9 o'clock at night. Uh, I came down to my fish room like always. You know, went into my quarantine room, that's where I keep all of my food. Uh, it's a new quarantine room, I'll explain that in a later video, but... Uh, and then, basically, just feed the fish. Uh, these fish, just like everyone kind of knows, once you walk around at the same time, the fish know it's feeding time. Literally, as I was getting the food out of this room, I heard a loud, loud crash of water. And it's not uncommon for peacock bass to do. But it sounded super loud, and like, I just felt weird. And I took a look into the tank and I saw my peacock bass had a fish in its mouth. I was shocked. I do zero live feeding. All of my fish have never eaten a bit of live food ever in their lives. And it's just not something that they usually do. Also, the fish that I put in its mouth was a little uh, Geophagus balzani. Or Gemo Geophagus balzani. This fish was not, it's a smaller fish comparatively to it, but it's not a small fish. And I was shocked to see it. And what happened was, is it actually got stuck inside of its mouth. I'm telling you, this peacock bass would not have been able to eat this uh, fish. So, obviously I didn't want either of these fish to die. Um, I did not, you know, the Balzani is a very, really cool fish. Um, I've had that specific fish for about a year and a half now. Um, and that peacock bass, I knew that if I left that alone, it would have died. Um, specifically because the gill stopped moving on this fish. Uh, it was completely red. The underbelly of it actually started turning red because it couldn't breathe. And it even started floating and rotating inside the aquarium. So I knew that I had to act pretty quick. Uh, I unfortunately have done this before where I had to rip a fish out of another fish's mouth. Uh, but it was relatively easy to do. This time, this fish was so deep into the peacock bass's mouth, it was really hard for me to do it. I literally had to yank super hard on this fish's tail, and also I knew that both of them were alive, so I wanted to be humane as well. Um, not gonna lie, after a couple struggles, uh, I just said to myself, I gotta do what I gotta do. Um, and I literally just started being a little rougher than I'd like to be, and it popped out of its mouth. Both fish were extremely banged up, uh, I actually thought the, the Calberry died at one point, uh, but it came back to life after it came back uh, into the water. Uh, the Balzani looked super beaten up, uh, and I actually didn't think it would make it through the night. But um, what I did was, I obviously didn't want to put the Balzani back into the same exact tank. My 40 gallon breeder, which is right behind me over there, it's a little bit crowded. That's probably where I would have put in it, but it's a little bit too crowded. Um, so I didn't want to put it in there, so I actually put it in my secondary quarantine tank. It's a smaller, just a little 10 gallon. The peacock bass is right here. Uh, he is doing pretty fine. Um, his mouth was a little bit open, you know, for probably about 24 hours. It's been now about uh, a day, two days actually, um, since this actually happened. Uh, and you can't see, it's on the other side. He, he has just a little bit of a gash on his nose, like on the front. and. That probably happened from when I was kind of just like trying to like muscle it out, <laughs> the Balzani. Uh, there's also other Balzani cichlids in this tank. Uh, they're the bigger ones. This is a bigger male. Uh, this guy is pretty beefy. Uh, and then there's also this smaller male over here, which is right there. Uh, and he usually fights with them. So I think maybe what maybe happened was that uh, he maybe mistaken the smaller one for maybe one of the bigger ones and just said, hey, I don't like Balzani's, so I'm going to eat them. There you can see the gash on the nose. So I'm not really quite sure what happened there, but again, I was completely and utterly shocked when this did happen. To give you guys a little update, this is the Balzani, the little one that actually just got eaten. <laughs> got put inside the mouth. You can kind of see on the tail, the tail is a little bit nipped up, like a little bit uh, red. Uh, and some of the finish is, is messed up on it. Its face is a little bit messed up too, but overall, I believe this is a female. 
Overall, she's doing pretty fine. Not gonna lie, she's pretty skittish inside of this tank because she went from a 125 gallon tank to a 10 gallon. But um, I'm doing water changes, daily water changes, just small ones, like little 10% ones, just to make sure she has clean water. Uh, but I definitely think she's gonna make it. Um, you know, she's definitely not showing any sort of signs of you know laboring or any signs of damage to her. So she'll probably be fine. You know, she's eating and everything. Uh, so. Looks like it was a little bit of a scare, but uh, looks like everyone's gonna be safe and get out of it. So I was pretty freaked out when this happened just because the overall shock of it. Um, two, you also don't really expect, or at least I don't usually expect uh, my fish to eat the other fish or at least try to put them in their mouths. I don't know, have you guys ever gone through something like this? If you have, definitely drop a comment in the comment section below. Let me know if you've ever had an experience like this in your fish keeping uh, hobby. Um, I know it's pretty insane and it definitely freaked me out. But that's going to be it for this video. So if you guys did like this video, be sure to subscribe. Check out some of the other content here on my channel. Ding that notification bell if you already subscribed. But most importantly, don't forget to fish on.